Hi! In this video, we are going to create a multi-step form with JED Admin. The main point of this video is to show you how you can create a multi-step forms by using temporary variables and conditional visibility. Our example is similar to our clinic scheduling template, but this one is supposed to be used by a patient. On the first step of this form, you can pick your doctor. On the second step, you can select a date of your appointment. And finally, on the last screen, you can check everything before submitting. Let's check which kind of data we need for all of this. We are going to be using two main collections here, a table with doctors and a table with appointments. New rows from our form will be added to this table. The rest of those tables are not going to be used in this video. Alright, let's start with the creation. I'm going to create a new page and skip to layout by selecting the blank one. Let's name our page My Profile. I like to use models for my multi-step forms. So let's create one and name it New Appointment. Let's also select a different style. We would also need a button that would open our model window. Now, let's create three containers that would host our steps. Let's also rename them. Alright, we're going to start filling our form now. I usually do this from the last step, which would submit all the data from the previous steps. Let's use the form component to do so. Let's also put it in the middle of three columns. We won't be needing an end date. Let's also pre-select our patient for the sake of simplicity. Let's pre-select status to be always a scheduled state and also hide this field from a user. And let's change the heading to something meaningful. Let's also change the name of the button Let's also add the headings for the first and the second step. We also need some buttons to go back and forth. Okay, that starts to look like something. Let's fill the first card with doctors. We'll use a gallery component for that.
Let's also add a quick name search and some filters. We need to set up an action that would fill our doctor field on the third step after we click on the doctor's card on the first step. The second step will show us currently occupied time slots in the calendar. Let's also filter out the calendar to show only selected doctor time slots. We also won't need any filter buttons here. And we are going to have a field for selecting our date. Let's hook up our date field to pass the value to the third step. Let's also add a slider that will show our current step. Notice how this slider is outside our containers. That will be important later on. Let's change the names and style of our buttons. And now the best part. We need to create a temporary variable that would tell the JET admin on which step of our form we are right now. Let's hook up our slider to reflect the current step we are right now.
Every button should also change the variable of the current step. And finally, let's set up the visibility in accordance with our variable in all three containers. We also need to check this load container and hidden so that everything will work. Let's click on the preview to see what it looks like. Looks like I forgot to put the current step variable to be the first one by default. Let's double check that everything works. I think I forgot to style the calendar. Let's set it up so it would show only the doctor's name and the date. I think this is it. Thank you for watching. Check our other videos and drop us a comment if you have any questions.